One thing that Roosevelt did, in addition to the standards that I'm talking about, he uh, actually uh, persevered in a specific way, and that's reflecting optimism. That was what he's known for. And every president since Roosevelt has adopted this technique, including President Reagan, by the way, who admired President Roosevelt all his life. And he had been a Democrat and became a Republican, of course, but um, Reagan did. But he admired Roosevelt, particularly because of this optimism he could convey to the country. This is a picture of Franklin Roosevelt giving a fireside chat. This is, the, this is what he did. He used the media of his time, radio, which basically every American could have access to, either with their own radio or uh, neighbors or whatever. And he scheduled what he called fireside chats, talking directly to the country about the depression, about the problems we're having, what he was doing. The, this is a particular uh, example of him talking about the banks. And he had a very clever way of doing what he was doing, uh, having the federal government act in to improve the economy. Instead of talking about shutting down banks or uh, you know, making sure banks were solvent by terminating their operations. He called it a bank holiday. <laughs> it was quite a pretty clever term, so a much lighter and, and sort of a non-threatening idea. But he was closing banks, and so he went out and he gave the fireside chats, did it throughout his administration, and you could walk through the city or the town or a hamlet all around the country, and if people had their windows open, you could hear Franklin Roosevelt's words because he had such incredible... Um, market penetration, as they call it now, where people wanted to listen to the president. And you could hear him really just about wherever you went. It was a tremendously effective thing he did with these fireside chats. And this is an example of the uh, Roosevelt optimism, the jaunty, positive presence that so many people of a certain age remember.